how to draw straight lines, circular designs, etc. in Critter using assistance. Key thing, assistant tool. You can find that in the tools panel. Once you've done that, go to settings and dockers and tool options. So you've got this tool options panel. Now for ruler, you can go for a straight line, go to the document and click and just drag and click again and you've got your straight line. You can also change the color if you wish as well. You've got here global color, you can make it say, click here and change the color to blue. And you've got a blue line there. However, what you now need to do is apply the brush stroke. So you go here to the freehand and you can just click and apply. And there is your straight line. You'll notice also in here, you've got setting for magnetism. Now if you put it down to zero, the line will go all over the place. Put it to a thousand and you will get your nice straight line. And that's for the freehand brush tool. Now go back down here to the assistant tool and just select that. If you want to move it, you can move it, simply go here, click that. Now, and you can just drag it around. You can also, if you want, click on these dots. So click on there and make certain you do click on the dot. If you click slightly away, it will just generate a new one. So it really does need to be clicked on that dot. And again, you can go to that one, make certain it's click, and you can move it around. And again, go back to the freehand brush tool and you can apply again. And you can see you've got your line there. Again, go back here to the assistant tool and you can also make sure so you can't see it, so it's not visible, or you can delete it. That's gonna be the one I'm just gonna do, so it's gone now. But you can add another one. You can add multiple ones. So if you want to, let's go for a circle design now, ellipse. So ellipse, just drag, and now it doesn't create by default a circle design. So click again, and you can see now you've got your ellipse. You can move back and forth, and you can decide, you know what, I want a circle design. So hold down the shift, and you've got a nice circle design. And then click again, and that's it. You've actually got it now as a circular design that you can use as assistant. So again, freehand tool, click there, and apply. And now, it will create a nice circular design. However, again, go back to the assistant here. And now, if you want to, you can move it. Click there, and you can also resize it as well. You can click these again and resize it as well, if you wish to do that. So you can, if you want to, click there and just drag out. Again, just make certain it's like a circular design. Click there, and so on. So you've got it in a different position. You can now, again, go to the freehand brush tool, select that, and apply another brush stroke to make another circular design. Again, go back to the assistant tool, and you can see you can move it, move it to a different position, or simply just delete it. And that's a quick run through of the assistant tool. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.